Nico's Lunchbox, written by Karen Sonberg Seiler, illustrated by Michelle Dornkamp Reppa. This is Nico. He is an eight year old boy who loves puzzles, spending time outdoors, sports, and video games. He loves watching cartoons with his sister Mia, and he loves lunchtime. Every summer, just before school begins, Nico's mom lets him pick out a new lunchbox. This year, Nico chose a shiny blue one with a picture of Brady the Bear, Nico's favorite superhero. Nico's first week of school went perfectly. He was in Mrs. Kendall's class and he knew a lot of the other kids from his class last year. He loved circle time in the morning when everyone greeted each other and shared something with the class. Everyone always had something interesting to share and it was fun to learn about his classmates. Third grade is pretty fun, Nico told his mom one night. What are you learning, his mom asked. We're learning multiplication and math and we're working on a research project during writing time. In art, we're making clay pots and we're learning about ancient Egypt and social studies. What's your favorite part of school, his mom asked. Going to the cafeteria and eating lunch with my friends, Nico replied with a smile. Nico thought the cafeteria was the coolest spot in the school. The walls were painted a light blue and there were colorful posters with sayings reminding kids to be kind and treat others with respect. Sure, it would get loud sometimes, but as long as he could eat his favorite snacks and talk to his friends, Nico was happy. The posters in the cafeteria reminded Nico of the blue notes his mom put in his lunchbox every day. The notes always rhymed and they made him feel special and loved. He liked that all his friends were interested in the notes too. They would huddle around him to see what the note said each day. One sunny Wednesday in October, Nico had a big math test and his mom knew he needed a little encouragement. During lunch, Nico shared his mom's note with his friends. Give today's test all you've got. When things get tough, give them your best shot. Take a deep breath and do your best. And always remember, it's only a test. Nico didn't eat much that day. His stomach hurt. Something wasn't right. He took the test, but knew it wasn't his best work. His stomach felt even worse when it was time to go home. When Nico's mom picked him up at the bus stop, he felt so terrible that he could hardly walk. Swelling inside his stomach caused the pain. His mom knew he needed special medicine to feel better. She was very familiar with what Nico was feeling because she had the same rare disease. The disease is called hereditary angioedema, H-A-E. Swelling, something that gets larger and rounder when fluids build up under the skin. Rare, uncommon. On Thursday, Nico was absent. When the students asked where he was, Mrs. Kendall explained he was homesick. The lunch table seemed quiet without Nico. It's not the same when Nico was in here, Madison said. I like his company and I really like his mom's notes. On Friday, Nico was absent again. Mrs. Kendall said Nico was still homesick, but he should be back to school on Monday. Nico's best friend Logan really missed him. I can't wait until Nico comes back to school, Logan said to the other kids. He is supposed to play in our soccer game. I hope he gets better soon. Over the weekend, Nico's swelling went down and the pain started to go away. His mom knew that a special order of homemade waffles would help Nico to feel even better. Waffles, 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 Nico sang as he danced around the kitchen. He was happy again and his appetite was back. When Nico got back to school on Monday, he joked, Did you miss me? All the kids sat down at the lunch table and laughed. As Nico opened his lunchbox, he saw a blue note on top of his sandwich. Hey, read your mom's note to all of us, Nico, Madison called out. The children quieted as Nico read aloud the note. The last few days have been hard, I know. I'm proud of the strength you always show. The swelling is gone and so is the pain. Let's get back on the feel-good train. Why were the last few days hard, asked Matt. What does swelling mean, Ethan wondered. Did it hurt, Hayden called out. Are you feeling better, Nico, Gabby asked. Nico felt his face get hot and red. He was overwhelmed by all the questions. It made him feel different than the other kids. He wanted to crawl under the table and hide. Oh, it was nothing. I'm fine. Let's eat, he said. 
When Nico got home, he told his mom what happened at lunch. I wish I didn't have this swelling problem, Nico said. When all the kids started asking me about what happened, it made me feel weird. They don't understand what's wrong with me, and I don't know how to explain it to them. Holding back tears, Nico slowly walked to his room. Nico's mom thought about how to help Nico. Every day, for the rest of the week, she tucked a blue note in his lunchbox. Each note explained more about HAE. She thought this would give Nico a way to share information about HAE with his friends. On Tuesday, Nico's mom wrote a note explaining what happens when someone who has HAE starts to swell. HAE is a disease that's very rare. I'll try to explain, let me share. A protein in your blood does not do its job very well, so fluids leak from tiny blood vessels causing body parts to swell. Thankfully, we can stop the swelling and pain by taking special medicines that make us healthy again. On Wednesday, Nico's mom described some of the symptoms of HAE. When you have HAE, your body swells in a certain place. It could be your throat, stomach, hands, feet, or even your face. You could have a headache, get a rash, or feel tired and nauseous. These are warning signs to make you more cautious. Symptoms, a sign of an illness. Nauseous, a sick feeling. On Thursday, Nico's mom wrote a note about how Nico got HAE. Nico was starting to feel more comfortable sharing information about HAE. He realized his friends were interested in learning about it. He was learning a lot too. Moms and dads who have HAE too can pass it down to their kids like your sister and you. Some people don't have enough of a special protein and that causes them to swell. Others have the protein, but it just doesn't work very well. The next morning at circle time, Mrs. Kendall asked the students to share something special about their family. One girl described her family's camping trip. Hayden talked about his cousin's birthday. When it was Logan's turn, he said his brother was sick and had to go to the hospital because his leg had gotten really big. He said his brother needed special medicine to make his swollen leg normal again. Nico listened carefully. That sounded a lot like what he had. Could Logan's brother have what I have, he wondered. Nico didn't hear what any of the other students shared. All he could think about was Logan's brother. When Nico got home that day, he rushed to tell his mom what Logan said at circle time. Nico's mom listened quietly. She could tell that Nico wanted to find another kid with HAE. It made her realize that introducing him to others with HAE might be good for him. They could share experiences. That night, Nico found a blue note on top of his pillow. He didn't usually get notes on his pillow, so he grabbed it quickly to see what it said. Tonight, I spoke to Logan's mother and asked how things were with his brother. Logan's mom explained he was stung by a bee. The swelling was not caused by HAE. An allergic reaction made his leg swell fast. The doctor gave him medicine to help the swelling pass. Nico woke up very early on Saturday morning. He and Mia went downstairs to watch cartoons and eat cereal. At the table, he found another blue note. This was fun. He loved getting his special blue notes from his mom at home. I think I came up with a great idea last night. Introducing you to, to some friends with HAE sounds just right. There's a club for kids with HAE just like you. I will give them a call and see what we can do. After breakfast, Nico got dressed for his soccer game. As he sat in the back seat of the car on the way to the game, he looked out the window and thought about everything that had happened over the last few weeks. Having HAE was hard sometimes, but Nico had a lot to be thankful for. He was glad his parents knew what to do when a swelling attack happened. There was medicine to help treat the disease. He was also happy that his teachers and friends cared about him and wanted to learn about HAE. That afternoon, Nico couldn't stop thinking about what it would be like to have a friend with HAE. He asked his mom for help. Let's start here, Nico's mom said as she logged into the Brady Club website. Nico's eyes lit up as he saw the stories about other kids with HAE and the fun games to play. A cool website and friends who have HAE? That was just what Nico needed. Brady Club, a special club for kids with HAE and their family members. The U.S. Hereditary Angioedema Association, 
H-A-E-A, is a nonprofit patient advocacy organization with a long history of providing our patient community with a wide range of programs and activities that support people with H-A-E, their caregivers, and family members through every step of their H-A-E journey. Contact us or visit our website to learn more, www.haea.org.